do expect a strong earnings outlook for the Singapore banks uh, this year, and that is supported by a few factors. Uh, first of all, we are expecting a tailwind from provision right backs for the Singapore banks this year. Now, the, uh, the Singapore banks have set aside large PMD provision last year, and we are seeing now DBS has started right, reversing this provision last year, and we are expecting UOB and OCBC to follow suit this year. Now, they will result in uh, much lower credit costs for this year, and they will directly boost their, uh, uh, the bank's uh, bottom line. Second of all, we be rising rates this year, and we think the Singapore banks are well positioned for higher rates this year, as they will benefit their net interest margin. This is especially so because the Singapore banks have had a, a higher uh, uh, savings and current deposit pool since the start of the pandemic. And these are sticky, uh, stickier deposits, and so the deposit rates will not be as uh, reactive to higher rates as the loan yields. Now, the last point will be uh, inorganic growth for these banks. Uh, some of the Singapore banks have been uh, fairly acquisitive over the past year, year and a half. Uh, the latest acquisition being the Citibank's uh, consumer business uh, in Taiwan to, to DBS, as well as some uh, ASEAN markets to UOB. So these businesses are very profitable, and we do expect them to be capital aggressive from day one. Uh, just give us your, your thoughts, Justina, if you would, on where you think Singapore interest rates are going and how quickly. Sure. Um, we, we do not have a view on the uh, interest rate, but so far DBS is expecting four interest rate hikes uh, um, uh, for next year. Now, we do have to be careful uh, uh, for, for this because for next year, uh, for this year, we do have to watch out for the compounding effects of uh, uh, higher inflation as well as rising financing costs. Uh, so far, the higher cost of goods has been more than transitory and that coupled with higher uh, debt servicing rates, we would be watchful for the asset quality in the SME segment. Um, we do think that in contrast, corporate and retail borrowers will be uh, more manageable on this front uh, because corporate earnings have so far been healthy and we are also looking at a lower unemployment rate uh, currently.